And the summer heat is here, and while it's a great opportunity to get active with your pet, especially all you dog owners out there, there are still some things you need to be on the lookout for. WBKO's Mayor the Shimer spoke with a local animal expert on how to keep your pet safe in the heat. It may be tempting to take advantage of the summer sun with your pet, but these higher temperatures may pose a risk to their health. Burns, for sure, um, from laying in on the hot asphalt um, would be one, and that extreme overheating can cause death, if not permanent brain damage. There are symptoms you can look for, though, before it gets to this point. If they exhibit really aggressive panting that doesn't let up, it's often a sign that they're overheating. If they get lethargic, if their mucus gets thicker in their mouth and they, you can see bubbles around the mouth and look a little distressed. If you still want to walk your dog outside, Rex Rote says it should be during the cooler times of day and to bring water with you. Another good measure is to put booties on their paws. If you can't hold your hand on the asphalt for five seconds, it definitely is not a place where paw pads need to be. And if your dog does mildly overheat, here's what you should do. Put rubbing alcohol on their pads or a cool washcloth, give them cool water. Um, you don't ever want to cover them up, even if it's with something cool. Um, just bring them into a cool environment, give them in front of a fan. Anything you can do to lower the temperature and the humidity will help them cool off quicker. There's alternatives to exercising your pet outside, but Rex Rote has an important reminder. Just remember at the end of the day, skipping a few days of exercise, it's always good to take a break. Reporting in Bowling Green, Meredith Scheimer. WBKO News. And more information on how age and breed also impacts how your pets handle heat will be on our website, WBKO.com.